Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda May and this is my channel, Art of Design. Today is a special unbagging, unboxing of the Belgian linen uh, that I just got printed from Spoonflower. It just came in the mail. I opened it up and I thought it would be awesome to do a quick little video to show you the Belgian linen that I just got from Spoonflower. Yes, I purchased it. No, this video is not sponsored but I was really interested to see what the Belgian linen looked like. I, because fabric cannot travel alone, I did order some fat quarters of my newest print for needle workers. And these are, this is called spirits. These spirits love needlework. <laughs> and I left these blank in here so people could, you could embroider or machine embroider, hand embroider, or use like the sulky stick and stitch and put something here or and stitch um, in the little areas or just leave it as is because it's adorable. So I, I had this printed, Fat Quarter. This is all print on demand stuff. This is the other one I had printed. Then I had it printed, this printed in green, which it looks awesome. I think the green is my favorite. And then I had this test swatch printed. They're, they're, it's Belgian linen, and this is what the back looks like here. Pretty impressed. It's a thicker linen than I'm used to. It feels like an upholstery linen. It does not feel like a typical needlework linen first impressions. I ordered, this is the $5 swatch. You can order anything on Spoonflower in whatever fabric you want in this test swatch of an 8x8 to see about the quality, what the print looks like, however you wanna do it. So I I voted for this, this is my fabric that I had and it's uh, watercolor drops with the X's. I wanna see, and you're gonna go along with me right now, we're gonna see if this is in fact an even weave linen or if it's an uneven weave linen. So what we're gonna do to test this out because uh, I, I read all the forums and tried to figure out if you know, it, what type of linen this was, and there was nothing on the Spoonflower resources to tell me what it was. So I'm just gonna use a piece of styrofoam from just packing stuff. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark out one inch by one inch with my marking pens, and we're gonna measure, and I grabbed three different measuring apparatuses to, see, to make sure that I have the correct result. So I am really excited about this new Belgian linen if it is in fact going to be um, even weave because that could be a game changer for us as far as being able to print design and then stitch on our own linen. All right, so I put down just a marking pin. I'm gonna do exactly one inch to one inch here. And what we're going to do is we'll act, we'll verify as well after that I've that it's exactly an inch. So one inch, one inch here. All right. So I'm going to use two other rulers just to make sure. See, and that is showing up differently. Okay. So they always say to invest in high quality measuring tapes, measuring sticks, to make sure that your measurement is correct. Here is one inch. Okay. So <laughs> two out of one, two out of three. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna count the stitches within this one inch and then we're gonna so we're gonna do that across and then and down. So what I'm gonna do is attempt to count this on camera live. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I counted 27 stitches across. So let me see, we'll count it, I'll count it again. 
as I <laughs> shake my table here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, so I counted it again, one inch across. There were 28 individual linen fibers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is now we're gonna measure across the other way. We're gonna measure one inch and then we're gonna count there. So I'm gonna put my counting pin down. I'm gonna measure the one inch here. So line up that zero here, and then I'm gonna come across and measure and go exactly one inch, which is here. Now I'm gonna check again with this ruler. From tip to tip, yeah, one inch, okay. So we're gonna count this across. Here we go. Oh, and I didn't put it straight across on the on that line, the counting pin. So I'm gonna making sure I'm counting down the same exact line, same exact thread. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, so I, I'm counting that it's twenty-eight across by twenty-two. So that would make it an uneven weave linen. I'm gonna count it one more time. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay, this is officially, I counted it, it's twenty-eight by twenty-two. So this is an uneven weave linen. So for the purposes of my counted cross stitch that I like to do, this would not work. This is an uneven weave linen. So in case anybody is curious about the new Spoon Flower Belgian Linen, this was a test, pat, test design that I had done, 28 by 22 for a one inch margin. It's still really pretty. I mean, as far as like upholstery fabric grows, pillows, it feels really nice. Um, it's really thick and the printing is on the one side. And again, this is just a test swatch. You can get an eight by eight inch of any of their fabrics for $5 plus shipping. And they're printed in, I believe North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, yep. So. Yet another reason why I like Durham. I went to the scrap exchange and got cool cross stitch stuff and now the printing done. So I am Ardith Design on Spoonflower and I will have these prints up and available in case you wanna do some spooky stitching project bags or quilting stuff. I appreciate you hanging out with me while I did this unbagging, unboxing and the uneven weave linen. Thanks a bunch and happy stitching my friends.